Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're gonna to be talking about Salesforce apps versus console apps. There is a big difference between these two and I did not know it for the very longest time. So let's talk a little bit about the differences. So actually what are apps? So apps within Salesforce are going to be different groupings of different objects and different pieces of functionality. So right now I am in the sales app. As you can see, we've got different pieces of functionality up here. We've got, this is the app homepage. It's showing us a bunch of different things like the closing deals dashboard components and where you can see view or view the opportunities. You can view accounts, contacts. You've got recent records, today's tasks, events, goals, which is kind of a new thing actually. Over here, you can go into your opportunities, leads, tasks, files, accounts, bunch more over here, but sometimes you might see that functionality is missing or people update this up here, this navigation bar up here. The biggest piece of functionality is that whenever you're opening up a new record, you have to put it into another tab if you wanna have multiple records open at the same time. So I just opened up two records. So you can see here, we've got one record. I'm gonna close that one out. And then we've got another record here. That's going to be the sales app. Let's go ahead and open up here. We have some other apps that we can go into. We can go into community, CRM classic. You can go into the service app. So it's gonna change all of like the navigation bar and what it looks like. Let's go ahead and exit out here. Um, this is a little bit more classic of what I like, quote unquote, grew up with Salesforce. What I'm more comfortable with Salesforce because the sales app got updated recently. You can go into a Salesforce chatter app. And then you have different pieces of functionality up here. Um, a lot of people know that if you go to view all, you can go search for all those individual pieces so they're not as neatly together. So those are kind of apps. Now, consoles give you a little bit more functionality than your regular apps. So let's go into the sales console here. Um, it's going to look somewhat similar here, but what you can do is you have everything in one tab. So you can have multiple or like one browser tab, one Salesforce tab here, but you can go into, let's say leads, you can open up a lead into a tab. If we go back to leads, we can go into contacts and then open up a contact. So then you have different tabs within your console. You can also have more functionality down here. So not only is it just the tabs, but you can also have a to-do list of creating a new task. My organizer is kind of causing issues, but you can see your history here. You can add some macros here as well and other things to the bottom. Like if you had a chat bot, you could add here as well. Um, if we wanted to go into calendar, we could, but then we could bounce just right back here. It's really great if you are contacting a lot of people and trying to juggle a lot of different things and you don't want to have multiple tabs up here. Maybe you have an issue you're trying to solve. So you already have browser tabs and you just want to have one Salesforce tab that you can toggle everything back and forth. Now it's not just for the sales console. You can also have a service console where you can do the same thing, but for service. Again, similar functionality where you can be juggling multiple things here. It's really great if you are juggling a bunch of different cases and trying to help solve customers issues or um, if you're an IT help desk, you can help solve your users issues. But that's kind of the basics of what the differences are between a service console or just console apps versus regular old lightning apps. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I'm hoping to make an all about consoles video here pretty soon to help users be the best they can when using these console apps. But with it being said, thank you so much for watching and joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Check out the courses down below or on salesforceupscale.com. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.